Hey guys, we are back with another alkaline cooking video for you. Me and hubby here. Hello. We are going to cook up some grilled zucchini and ranch sandwiches. These are super good, easy to make, and you can use, <coughs> you know, um, leftover ranch or you can make the ranch for this. We, we had some dinner the other night and we have some leftover ranch, so we're going to make some easy sandwiches and we're going to have some butternut squash fries on the side which I'll link that video below in the description box if you want to have the fries with them as well because that's something we've made in the past the ranch will always will be linked below as well let's get into the video right. first you're gonna need some zucchinis just gonna cut off both ends and then once you do that you're gonna cut them in the middle and then very carefully you just wanna kinda get rid of the stuff on the edge here you can use that in a sandwich if you want to I'm not going to we can just fry them up and eat them on the side. But you just want to get rid of the edges, just like that. And then you're going to cut slices that are about, I don't know, half an inch to fourth an inch thickness. This is a really nice thickness. It's kind of hard to show you on camera. Um, this is a steak knife. You know about how big the handle is. So about the thickness of a handle of a steak knife. And you're just going to slice them like this until you get however many you need. So this one's going to make us three nice, healthy slices. All right, so we're gonna cut these up and move on to the next part. All right guys, now that you have all of your zucchini chopped, we laid ours out on a pan so we can show you how we're gonna season them. You're gonna need um, sea salt, oregano, cayenne, and onion powder. You're gonna sprinkle both sides of your zucchini with each one of these seasonings. I was going with some onion powder, going right in with the onion. I was going in with the cayenne. You know, this is, in all my recipes, I always tell you the cayenne is optional. Now he's going in with some oregano. Alright, and the last one he's going to go in with is the sea salt. Alright, now you're going to flip them over and then season the other side. All right, so now what you're going to do with these, now that they're all seasoned, you are going to sear them in a pan on both sides till they get nice um, dark brown marks and then transfer them to a plate. So we're going to go and do that right now. All right, so now you want to get over to the stove and get you a pan going with a little bit of oil on the bottom and get it nice and hot on a medium high heat. Grapeseed oil to be exact. Yes, that's what we're using. If we got our zucchinis here, lay them down. We're going to brown them nicely on each side. All right, see them? They're sizzling all night. Uh, they're nice and seasoned well. Not too much oil in the pan, just lightly coated. Mm -hmm. And let them cook until they're a nice golden brown on the other side. We'll show you in just a minute. All right, they've been cooking for about three to four minutes now. A couple of them are ready to flip. See how that nice golden brown sizzles on there? That's how you want it to look. Oh, that one's ready. Oh, that one's not ready yet. Ooh, that one looks nice. And then once you get them all flipped over, you know, start with the first one. So those will be done first. But um, they're going to need about another three to four minutes on the other side. Or less until you get that nice desired golden brown look. Now we're going to see if some of these first ones are ready yet. Let's try this one. Oh, mm. yeah. See, we can transfer that one to the plate. Let it sit here. These are going to be the meat of the sandwich, main thickness to it all, and they're going to give it most of its flavor along with the ranch, and we're going to put some greens and some tomatoes in there, and then we're going to grill it. We'll get to that in a minute because we're going to season the bread. All right, these are done. We're going to transfer the rest of them to this plate, and then we're going to start creating our sandwiches and assembling them. Okay, now that your zucchini is done, you're going to want to take your favorite bread. Um, we're going to use a spelt bread right now. You can use a flat bread, whatever you want to create, or your favorite bread on the list. That you so what you want to do is we've got our spelt bread here. That's what we're going to use today. And you're going to take your oil sprayer. It's better to use an oil sprayer, but you can use like um, a brush with some oil. And you basically want to get a little bit of oil, not a lot, just a little bit on the bread because 
you need something for the seasonings to stick to. So, so you're only oiling one side. Just picture it, you know, like when you're making um, grilled cheese, you would butter one side. You know, but we're not doing that. <clears throat> so, for the seasonings to create that um, garlic bread effect, we're going to use onion powder, ginger powder, and sea salt. And the first one I'm going to sprinkle on is a little bit of sea salt. Come on. There we go. A little bit's coming out. Just lightly. It makes you, you know, don't just put it right in the middle. Just get a little bit on there. And then um, get you some onion powder. You know, go from top to bottom of the bread. And then when you add that ginger powder, that's with that onion powder, that's where you're going to get that garlic. You know, if anyone's looking for a mock garlic flavor, to create a garlic flavor, mix together ginger and onion powder. So now we're going to add the powdered ginger. Use your favorite brands you know as I said in a recent video if you see brands here that we're using that you don't prefer you know use what you like got some ginger powder on there now we're gonna do that on both breads this is gonna be either the top or the bottom and then we're gonna do the other set of the bread and this part is the part that's gonna go down in the pan that's gonna be grilling so we're gonna do the rest of the bread and then we're gonna start assembling the sandwiches Okay, now that we have both sides of the bread seasoned and a little bit of oil on it, you know, flip them over because this is the side we're going to assemble it on. And like I said, this side here with the seasoning is going to go face down in the pan to get grilled. So the first thing you're going to want to do is if you don't already have the ranch made, you can make it now. The link is down below in the description box. This is some leftover ranch we made from dinner last night. So we're going to use that in our sandwiches. It's an alkaline ranch. And you want to spoon out a little bit, put it on your sandwich. And if you have leftover and you're having butternut squash fries with it, just like us, you can dip your butternut squash fries in the leftover ranch. Spread it as evenly as possible. If you want to add more, go ahead and add more. You want a real sloppy sandwich, go for it. Um, you know, do you. This is your sandwich. All right, now we're going to top it with some greens. You can use whatever kind of salad greens you like. We're going to use a mix of greens, all different types of um, purple lettuce, uh, um, romaine in there, and everything else. So then after your greens, you can put your tomato slices on next. How many? Um, I do about four. you guys want more you can add more and if you got leftover tomato slices like we're gonna have just put them on the side eat it eat them fresh all right so now that you've got your tomato your ranch and your greens now you're gonna start layering with zucchini I like to do it like this I like to overlap them a little I see like that and then this one will go over that one a little and I like to fit four to five slices if I can um, you can double layer it if you want to really go for it I mean this is your sandwich and then there we go. We do have some extra. I'm gonna eat this one. You can throw them right on the side and eat them as a side dish, or you can try to add more to mm. your sandwich. Mm. I'm gonna add just a little bit more on each one. See if I can add one more slice in there. All right, so now we did that. Now we're gonna top it. Keep your seasoned side on the outside because that's gonna go down on the grill. Don't smash them down. All right, so now you wanna get that same pan, get it oiled up and get it hot. All right, so now we're ready to grill our zucchini ranch sandwiches. So using the same pan you used earlier, make sure it's got all little seasonings and bits. Put some oil down in there, not too much, just enough to grill. Grab your sandwiches carefully and lay them down. Make sure you have your seasoned side facing the pan. Be gentle with them, extremely gentle. And they're only gonna need to grill, depending on how hot your pan is, about 30 seconds or more on each side. You just want it nice and golden brown. It's going to happen pretty fast. And now we're just waiting. Give it some time. All right, so now we're going to start flipping them. Flip it over on your hand first and then gently set it down. This one got a little bit too done. That's okay. And just take it easy, go gentle. 
or it will be a mess in the pan. Don't just try to flip it over, you know, like we do pancakes. Flip it in the hand. Uh, I eat this one. Oh, don't worry about it, babe. Some of these got a little overdone. But, um, Ooh, you doing, you we were chit-chatting when I turned off the camera, but this is kind of like what you're looking want to look for is this one right here. That one came out perfect. That ain't nothing right there. It's good anyway. Don't worry about it, babe. All right, so now we're going to let these cook about 30 seconds to a minute, and they should be nice and grilled. The other ones took about a whole minute. Okay, so I just took one out. I almost broke it. So now we, um, these ones are about done. Transfer them to the plate we brought them in on. There we go. That one in there, and then we're going to cut one of these bad boys open for you. that beautifulness right there. Cut into this pretty little sandwich here for you. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we are. That's what the inside looks like. Nice and healthy and yummy. And these are so freaking good, especially when you season that bread. It makes all the difference. I really hope you enjoy these um, sandwiches. They're really great. We all love them here in this house, even our little ones. So these are kid friendly. You know, make them. See if your little one enjoys them. And let us know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you thought of the video. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll be back with some more. Thank you.